Shalom, greetings, precious saints, in the blessed name of our Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. I believe you are well, you are kept of the Lord, the Lord has been gracious unto you, you have experienced His peace, you have experienced His mercy, you have experienced His goodness in the land of the living. Precious saints, I'm here to relay a message from the realms of God, the realms of God in Christ Yeshua. When I speak, the Lord has always vindicated His servant. I'm not a son of a prophet, but I hear God. By the ordinations of God in Christ, I am an apostle. My office is that of an apostle. But from time to time, by the will of the Spirit, I ride through prophetic wings and disfar the message as it has been echoed from Zion. I've always opined on this channel that the Lord Yeshua, whose throne is active now, and to whom the kingdom of the Father is given to him in this hour, he does not speak because he has a mouth. But I've always opined that the Lord speaks because it is for an intention. There is an agenda, there is a purpose to which he speaks. Now, it was on January 19, 2023, that I issued a prophecy, which is still on my YouTube channel. You can go and check in my YouTube archives, entitled, The Rise and the Fall of UDA Government. And some of you who are carnal, spiritually blind, ignorant, men who are trapped in the panoply of carnalism and flesh came out and threw tantrums on my channel comment section and said I'm a prophet of doom and said I'm false and said that I'm dreaming, I'm hallucinating that the UDA government will be the most successful government. Today we can all attest this is 2nd of October 2024. Can you still say that the Lord has vindicated his servant? So sometimes, let me say in Swahili, wakati mwingine ni vizuri kunyamaza usije ukajaribisha. Manake si wewe ndio bwana anazungumza naye, ni mimi. Mimi ndio mtume wa Yeshua Hamashiach. Na ninaponena, ninanena kutokana na mamlaka na uweza wa roho mtakatifu ambaye kwa jina lake ndiye ruach hakodosh ambao wengine wenyu hata jina lake hamlijui and so did i not say the uda government is fallen and i told you that there will be a rift between two leaders in the uda government it has now come clear the rift between the fallen president ruto and his fallen deputy, Rigabi, has been brought on the limelight on your television. And I have been accurately, I, the apostolic and the prophetic mystic rabbi of Christ, the voice of thunders is my name. I have been vindicated and I will continue to be vindicated because I do not speak from my own mind. I speak from the realms of God. Now here it has come the impeachment of Deputy President Rigadi Geoffrey Gashago. Precious sense. Things are going to be tough than what they appear now. Kenya, when God speaks through his servant, the voice of thunders, who cares to listen? 
This is the question I'm having. Who cares to listen when the Lord speaks through his servant, the messenger of light, the voice of purpose? Who cares to listen? Allow me say this. Kenya, very soon we are going to cry. I see a nation that is about to mourn. In the realms of the spirit, there is a political figure in this nation that is going to be with the Lord very soon. There is a political protagonist of a leader in this nation that is going to be with the Lord. He's going to appear in the judgment seat of God. And it will shake this nation very soon. I have spoken from the Lord. Kenya, the UDA regime is fallen. I said it. I was the first one to say it before any other minister of the gospel who writes by the prophetic winds of God came out to reveal it. I was the first in the entire Republic of Kenya to say in January 19th, 2023, when all seems to be well, when it appears as though Ruto is some kind of an angel, I said it January 19th, 2023, that UDA regime under the leadership of William Ruto is fallen, is fallen, is fallen. And I said that even Ruto himself is a fallen president. It has been vindicated on me that the utterance I spoke were not mere words of emptiness. And some of you are being deceived to think that God is with this government. I am here to let you know in the realms of God, in the dimension of governance and kingly leadership upon men, it is written upon the government of William Ruto, Ikabod. It is written upon the government of William Ruto in the realms of God, in the dimension of dominion and governance and kingly leadership over men. It is written on him and his regime of UDA, Ichabod, which is translated, the glory of Yahweh has departed. Do not be deceived by the likes of Apostle Munyao Fred, a charlatan, the likes of another charlatan prophet by the name of Tito Limo, the likes of Apostle Damaris Mumbi. She is a legit woman of God. That one, I have no issue with her. She's legit, but confused. I have spoken. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face, his radiant face of glory to shine upon you. Kenya. The beast system of darkness is rooted in this government. The Bible says, blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, neither seated in the seat of the scornful, neither stands in the ways of sinners. If some of you purport and claim that the president, William Ruto, is a godly man, what does he do in that scripture? He says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Why is he surrounded with men that are ungodly if he's a righteous man? Why does he sit in the seat of scornful men? Why does he stand in the ways of sinners? What is he doing there? If he's truly with God, scripture cannot contradict itself, neither can scripture fight scripture. It is evident he is not what people think he is. 
The Lord has spoken. Meditate upon these words. Shalom.